we all have things in our closet that we have no idea why we're keeping them they're just in there and we need to get rid of them and these are some things that you can declutter from your closet right now now the first thing is old clothes we all have some clothes in our closet that we don't wear that have been there a long time and we may have even forgot about those clothes being in there until we look in the closet and look back in the back and then we find and say oh yeah that's still in there but you haven't worn it in a long time and then you just put it back in the closet because you don't feel like getting rid of it and that it still lies there and so what you want to do is if you have old clothes that you've been worn in a long time and you have no intention of wearing them now or they're just completely out of style and you're like i'm never going to wear this you need to go through figure out which clothes fall into that category and then throw them away and also we also generally have some new clothes in the closet that we have not worn we bought them they look good they were just like this is the perfect outfit and then we never found an opportunity to wear those clothes what happened is hey they're new we're not gonna get rid of them they still have a price tag on them they're still in the bag we bought them in and i'm not going to get rid of them because i just paid money for them and they are new and here's something else i know a lot of you may have random stuff that we just had over the house that we didn't have anywhere else to put it and so we threw it in the closet and it's just still in the closet and we've never gotten rid of it so you need to go through find all the random stuff and you'll know if it's random because you're like i have no use of this it's just in here i'm not sure what to do with it it doesn't serve any purpose at all anymore so i think it's time for you to go ahead and get rid of that thing and throw it away declutter it, whatever you want to do with it but you don't need it in your closet now if it's something you might use that you found you're like oh i was looking for this and you'll use it around your home then that's a different thing just go put it to where it's supposed to be in your home but you just don't want it in your closet and something else to think about any kind of duplicates you have in your closet that you don't really need like you may have a couple of different outfits that are the same because you go to work and that's your work outfit but things in your closet you have no idea why you have a second one there you're not going to use a second one you have that one that you need that you're using right now and this one just is taking up space it's become clutter in your closet and so what you want to do is you actually want to find a way to get rid of that thing you want to find a way to give it away to somebody but you don't want just taking up space in your closet because you can use that space for something else or something you really want in your closet for something that is not just a duplicate that you're never going to use and another thing that you might want to think about also is all the different old costumes that you have in there that you wore to a Halloween party or birthday party, whatever. And you're like, oh, I'll just keep it because I might wear it again. And it's been in there for a long time and you just are not wearing it at all. You're, you're just it's just sitting in your closet, taking up space. So if you have something like that, you go back and you look and you see this costume, you're like, you know, I still might wear it sometime. You're not going to wear it. OK, so the nine times out of ten it's not going to be something you pull out and wear unless you're going to a costume party and when is the next time you're going to a costume party so it just depends on the costume but i would really get it out of my closet because if you're going to go to a costume party anyway you're probably going to buy a new costume oh and this is a really good one wedding clothes if you've done your wedding and it's been 20 years and you still have your wedding dress or your tuxedo in the closet it's time to let it go and get rid of it and not take up the space in your closet for that thing because generally if you've been married 20 years you're not going to get married again generally so it's time to just get rid of the wedding dress that's still hanging around in the closet and the other thing that you might want to think about too are some old shoes you have in the closet that's way past your time that's just like they're in there you're not going to use them they might have holes in them or whatever probably not going to wear them they're probably probably way out of shape anyway so you're going to probably want to get some new shoes instead of having these old shoes in the closet and here's a good one things that you are saving for that perfect situation these clothes will be good for that one situation that i bought them for and i never know when that situation is going to happen so i'm going to keep these clothes until that perfect situation happens those are the type of clothes that just take up space in your closet because it could be five years two years ten years before that situation comes up at that point those clothes will probably be out of style anyway so go ahead and get rid of those clothes instead of having them in your closet waiting and waiting and waiting and just taking up space in your closet and how about this one clothes that you have in your closet do not fit anymore go ahead and get rid of those clothes even if you gained weight and then worked out and got back down to the same size you were before 
you're probably going to want to go out and get some new clothes and not wear the old ones that you have in the closet anyway because generally anybody i know that's that's lost weight they go out and get new clothes because they're proud of their accomplishment so any of these clothes you have in your closet go ahead and get rid of them and this is a simple one an easy one trash any trash you have in your closet you find in there that you're like wow this is this is actually trash go ahead and throw that stuff out and get rid of it get out of your closet so that's just a simple thing to say get rid of your trash that's in your closet and here's something you might have forgot about that's in your closet the donation bag that you've been meaning to take to the place to donate all the items that are in that bag it's just stuffed in the back in your closet go ahead actually take that bag out and take it to the place that you need to take it to donate that stuff wherever that may be and let's talk about all the board games you may have in your closet that you just haven't played in a really long time they're just in there taking up space if you're not going to play them or you're not going to give them to somebody to play then go ahead and get those things out of your closet they are taking up space now some you may want to keep just in case hey i'm going to keep my monopoly set and my scrabble set because most times people come over they play those games that are really common but other games that you know hey i'm not going to use this they're they're just not serving any purpose and won't in the future go ahead and get rid of those and here's something to think about all the different items you have from previous hobbies that you started and just like lost interest in like you were interested at one time and your interest just changed and that's just a common thing when you have adhd you go from one interest to the nut to the next interest and you may not go back to the previous interest that you had so it's, if it's been a while and you're like i'm never gonna go back to that go ahead and get rid of all that stuff you know just it doesn't need to be in your closet at this time and another thing that might be in your closet that might just be something that you want to get rid of are all the extra hangers you might have in your closet i know i always just have these extra hangers i'm just like where where did all these hangers come from and they happen to be in my closet and then occasionally i have to go through and just purge the hangers from my closet so you may be in that situation where you have just all these extra hangers and you need to go through and look and see how many do you actually need if you don't need as many as you have in your closet then go ahead and get rid of them because they are taking up space and also those store hangers that they give you that are just not very good at all like you get the store hangers especially like the pants and stuff you're never going to use those hangers at all like i get them i'm like okay i'm throwing these away never going to use them so anything like that of course get rid of that as well too and what about all the clothes you have that are just not useful for where you live if you live somewhere that's really cold you had a bubble jacket and it's all you know so you can keep warm in the cold and everything and then you move to florida where it never gets cold the coldest it gets is like 60 degrees and uh, you don't need that bubble jacket anymore you don't need the big heavy jacket anymore you can go ahead and get rid of that unless you just plan to go live back in that kind of weather there is no reason to hold on to the big heavy bubble jacket you can get rid of it get you a windbreaker because in florida like i said only get 60 degrees and that will be just fine generally and also if you have sheets in your closet for the bed and they don't fit the bed anymore like you have a queen size bed you got king size sheets or twin size sheets in your closet that you've never used and you just haven't thought about ever using them they're just in there go ahead and get rid of those sheets because you're probably never going to use them and they're just taking up space in your closet and depending on how many sets of these things you have they could take up a lot of space and something else that you might want to think about any luggage in your closet that is just old and torn up or whatever and you're not going to use it like you went you went out and bought new luggage because you're not going to use this old luggage or you just have too many pieces of luggage in one particular piece you're never going to use go ahead and get rid of that out of your closet because luggage does it takes up a lot of space to have that luggage in your closet now something else that you might want to think about too is i have a video on different closet hacks so that video will be really good because it tells you how to get the most out of your closet just by using these simple hacks so go ahead watch that video it should pop up on your screen right now